now that we got this bar fitted in, we're going to use uh, just a little wire welder just to kind of weld in this bar because it's going to be our new support bar. So let's get to work. test run with the new support bar we welded in. So I hope this thing doesn't fold up on me. Worked pretty good. Test out the brakes. Yeah. Looks like everything's working how it should. So now we can start mounting the engine in it. Okay. The engine we're going to use is this ADCC kit that we bought off the internet for, you can buy this off the internet, we'll leave a link in the description to where you can buy it. Um, and basically it's, it's a universal fit to almost any bicycle, and it's an 80cc or 50cc, just depends on your, what you like, and it's supposed to fit to nearly almost every single bicycle. So, has a good look at the engine, it has a bunch of different, it has a gas tank, it has all the nuts and bolts and all the fittings. So this is pretty much a plug and play deal. So we're gonna start mounting it together on the bike. I mean, we're gonna hope it turns out pretty nice. Okay, we're just gonna start setting things out. My brother, he's mowing the lawn across the street, so he won't be in for a little while to help us out, but. So as you can see, this comes with almost everything you need. Chain guard, chain, wiring harness, throttle cable, you got stuff. Even the grips and everything you need. So we're going to start putting it together. Sprocket mounted on. This is a pretty simple system how they have you mount it. They just have two uh, clamps on each side and you bolt it down right onto your spokes. So we got that on there nice and tight and straight. And now I think the next step is mounting the motor to the bike. So we're going to go get to work on that. Hopefully it's as easy as this wheel was. <laughs> chain mounted and it comes with the chain, the sprockets, the engine, it's all mounted on there tight. Um, it's getting late so tomorrow we're going to work on out the carburetor, maybe some wiring and possibly, possibly get the bike finished. But right now it's getting late and cold so I'm going to call it at night. Alright guys, it's a new day, and we're going to be mounting on the clutch uh, cable. It should just mount right to the handlebars, and then it should move this little leather lever down here, which will be the clutch arm. So, we can get to work on that.
holding the clutch, you can use it like a bike. Release the clutch, the motor will engage, and it has a motor. Okay, off camera, we installed the throttle and the wire. Um, right now, we're going to install the gas tank and the gas line. And we also installed the carburetor off camera, but right now, we're going to install this. So, it just should, it has these brackets down here, so it should just bolt right down to the pole, and this should just plug in to the carburetor. So, let's get started on that. Okay, well we finished up everything, we got it all zip tied together, off camera we did a couple stuff here and there like mount the muffler, and tighten up the chain and stuff like that, but now we're going to get for the first test run and hope that it runs alright, alright Jake, can you stop? Okay guys, we took the entire bike apart and now we're painting it. Alright guys, we got it all finished up and got the tires back. Finished painting. And we got the tires back on. And we're getting ready to put the engine back on and the carburetor and the fenders, which we painted red. It's hard to see the color, but it's actually really nice red. It looks purple, but it's, it's pretty nice red. You'll probably see it in a different shot, though. Okay, guys. Uh, we just got painted and put back together. It looks really good. I'm going to go over the pros and cons of what we had with this bike. We've been driving it for a week, but... We just kind of wanted to wait before we did the final video. So I drove it for a week, and I'm going to tell you all the stuff I experienced in that one week. First things first, right here, this thing, I don't know what it's called. The thing that tightens your chain. That thing gets loose, because this bar right here gets thinner as it goes down. So that once this bar moves a little, it gets looser and looser. To fix that, get an air tube, snip a little section out of it, and slide it inside that so I can get some friction on that bar um, another problem we've had with it is the master link isn't I guess the best so you're gonna wanna get a better master link cause these ones would keep snapping on us so get a good, nice master link that's what we did um, the muffler that would we needed to bend that so it wouldn't so when we're pedaling, our pedals when it hit it. So you might need to binge it with a pipe bender. Um, but other than that, so far we haven't had any problems. Um, if you guys stay tuned, we'll be doing other stuff to it, like maybe putting a headlight on it, spinometer, just different stuff to make it look cooler and faster and nicer. So if you guys stick around, you get to see some of that. So subscribe, comment. We like to hear feedback on our projects, guys. Um, and share this with your friends, please. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. See ya.